Always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Um. <clears throat> Sorry. Just that. Um. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm good. We can roll. Oh, we've been rolling. Oh. His name is Max, and he's going off the grid. You okay, Alan? All right. His name is Max, and he's going off the grid. What does it mean for Formula One racing? We'll have more. Also, a three-wheeled track day car is the pride of Poland, and there's more on the Pontiac G8 controversy. What is up, everybody? I am Derek D. You, <laughs> you are watching Fast Lane Daily. It's a great show. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D. Always fresh every day. Oh, I love that theme song. Alan Kay, you got a great voice. Thank you, Derek. You're welcome. <laughs> Looks like the motoring press has one less Formula One overlord to kick around. FIA boss Max Mosley confirmed today he will not seek re-election when his term as FIA president expires this fall. According to Jalopnik, the 69-year-old Mosley, who's had more than his turn in the controversy barrel, revealed his decision in a letter to FIA members. Jalopnik reports Mosley has endorsed former Ferrari team boss Jean Tote as his replacement. As you might remember, Mosley was criticized last year for appearing in a hidden camera video clip where he was allegedly engaged in conduct unbecoming a member of F1's governing body. Right, not enough spankings. You can read a scanned PDF of the letter over at jalopnik.com or just watch the video again. Ooh, that looks like it hurt or felt great. And following in the footsteps of countryman Nicholas Copernicus, Frederick Chopin, and whoever invented pierogies, designers at Polish automotive startup Marodi, Marotti? Yeah. Sure, are thinking outside the box. The company released a video clip this week of its three-wheeled concept car's evolution from just a sketch to a prototype to a fully functional vehicle. Part motorcycle, part fighter jet, and part track day toy, the Marotti gets power from a 750cc Honda V4 engine producing 100 horsepower. That's hooked to a sequential six-speed gearbox for gear swapping and three disc brakes for maximum stoppage. There's no word yet on production, but Marathi says they're planning to sell the Radical three-wheeler for 25,000 euros each. In other news, the Earth revolves around the sun. Thanks, Nikki. Good old Copernicus. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash the name of our show. Also, facebook.com slash Daily, And subscribe to us on YouTube because it's cool. All right, awesome. Next up is GM playing take backs on the Pontiac G8. That's an internet rumor mill. Right after this. I don't know, I didn't kick the Twitter feed, but you know what, I don't care. So we teamed up with Black Magic, yes, the tire shine people, to take this beautiful bright orange 2010 F-150 Raptor on the Bull Run Rally from New York to Austin, Texas. You go to blackmagicshine.com and watch every video in the series, all six of them. And you can go to Fastlane Daily and watch two unique episodes during the week over there. Anyway, I'm Matt Farah, this is the SVT Raptor, and we're going on the Bull Run. I'll see you guys there. Welcome back, everybody. Call it the most press the Pontiac G8's ever gotten. Earlier this week, GM veteran and new company communications boss Bob Lutz, what's up, Bobby? said the Pontiac G8 may come back as a Chevrolet. That after the company plans to shutter the Pontiac brand while keeping the Australian plant that makes the G8 hummering along. But did Lutz go off prematurely? GM bosses issued a statement yesterday that sounds to us like a bit of backstroking. That's what I said. The company missive says that while GM is exploring the possibility of extending imports of Holden vehicles, no decision has been made at this time. Autoblog wonders whether the corporate speak means, we're going to do what Bob says, but we just don't want to promise anything just yet. So what do you think about the Pontiac G8's latest developments? Should GM make it a Chevrolet or shelve it? Let us know in the comments below. They're not above, they're down there. All right, G8. Yo, I'm a G8, all right. I fly G8. Not really. I don't know. That about does our fast lane daily today. I'm Derek D and I just like to say, Mike Spinelli has written over 680 friggin' scripts. I just want to clap it up for him. Yeah. I just yeah, clap it up yeah, for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every day. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Alan Kaufman, what's up? <laughs> <laughs>
I'm just kidding. I love you, okay? Hey, have a good day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Next up is GM playing Take Backs on the Pontiac G8. That's in the internet rumor mill right after this. Oh, f***.